I'm Rio Panapa. I'm a musician and vlogger, and like you, I'm in lockdown for the next four weeks at home in Rotorua with my whanau. Keeping healthy, physically and mentally during this time is so important, and music for me is a big part of that. Over the next month, my goal is to lift the spirits of viewers by connecting with other musicians around the motu, sharing their waiata and thoughts with us. Get ready to be lifted. LAB have dominated the charts and airwaves following the release of their third album last year, featuring the smash hit In The Air. Founded by the legendary Korra Brothers and led by the soulful vocals of Joel Shadbolt, the five piece have created their own unique sound loved by Kiwis here and abroad. This is LAB on Lifted. Ciao, brother. Check out, how are you? Kia ora, bro. I'm good, thanks, brother. How are you? Good, man, good. Mean, bro. Hey, cuz, firstly, bro, thanks for your time for jumping on and having a yarn with us. No um, worries, bro, if you could just let us know where you are in the country and, and who you're isolating with. Um, I'm actually isolating with my mum and my girlfriend. Nice. Yeah. Kia ora. Kia ora, yeah. Kia ora. And in the beautiful sunny Bay of Plenty. Nice, bro. Yeah, Not... man, I can't complain at all. Yeah, exactly, bro. Mm -hmm. um, and how's everyone feeling? How's, you know, how's the whanau? How are you guys getting along? You're a weekend. Yeah, that's good. You know, like, um, I am with my girlfriend and my mum, so that's quite fun. It's cool. It's, you know, we, you kind of, uh, it's a good time to just sit back and, and um, reflect, I think. You know, I think it's, us musos are always on the road and yep. family times, you know, you kind of, you realise how much of it you miss out on when you get so much time together, you know what I mean? That's right, bro, absolutely. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What kind of things have you been doing to to stay entertained? Um, well, we, we've been doing some projects around the house. Um, my partner's right into her gardening, so she gets in the garden. Yeah. Um, I've managed to set up like a... I'll take you for a walk, actually. I've managed to set up a studio in my garage. I'll just flip... Can I flip the camera around? Yeah, for sure, bro. Yeah, sweet. This is... Um, my old man and old lady have been here... Um, they bought this house in uh, 1997, where I've been here for years. Me. Mum's, mum's kept the house um, when my old man passed, and we just it's kind of the homestead, eh, bro? And nice. My old man's garage. Um, that's his old workshop in there. Wicked. Um, we kind of haven't touched it, you know. Just wanted to keep it how it was. Kind of got a, a vibe about it. Yeah. This part here, just. Um, Dissect, like took everything out and turned it into a bit of a bit of a home studio. Bro, your guys' um, summer was was massive, bro. Like I feel like LAB's just kind of just blowing through the roof, like especially in the last twelve months. Um, and you guys hit number one within the air, bro. What, what was that like for the boys? Oh, it's a buzz, man. It's um, I mean, it, you know, you kind of don't you don't write songs with with thinking that that will happen. You know, you just write tunes and, and then obviously hope that people like it but then yep. when something like that happens it's like wow yeah you know, it's obviously resonated with a lot of people and and that's such a yeah such a humbling feeling man it's, it's a beautiful beautiful feeling nice bro i remember the first time i heard it bro like um i, I love that song bro and i feel like it's um it's so unique but at the same time it feels so familiar like it feels like something you you've vibed to before and it's, totally, it's so easy to grab onto. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think it's funny because it's like it's not even a to me. It's not even a pop song. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Like it, it doesn't even have a. Um, uh, it's more about the vibe. That's what people are feeling in that song. It's more nostalgic, kind of baseline driven. You know, nothing really moves. It just kind of chugs along. Totally, bro. And the video suits it perfectly, too, bro. That kind of vibe, and it's just cruisy. You guys in the Ute. Yeah, yeah, the Toyota. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you when you guys wrote that song, bro, or like when you kind of played it back for the first time in the studio, did you kind of look around and think, "There's some, this one's the one," or you know, did you but get the, the, the time that it, it kind of felt like something was? I remember playing it um, like we'd finished the whole album and we were in the in Wellington in the studio and we had the band set up in the room. Yeah. In the big live room. 
and we started just we we're doing a rehearsal with Miharu. We we're teaching Miharu all the new. It was when Miharu joined the band. Yeah. And we we're teaching him like ain't no use and all the all the back catalog stuff for yep. the live shows. And this was before the album was released or, or anything. The third album. Mm. And we and I was just remember started jamming it and we started playing in the air. Yeah. It was the first time with vocals because we when we recorded the song we recorded it as a live band. Um, bar the vocals, you know, did the vocals afterwards. Um, <clears throat> so we kind of knew what it felt like to play the tune, mm. but we had played it, uh, you know, in its full thing with the extra keyboards on and the vocals over the top. So yeah. we sat in that room and just jammed it, and it just, yeah, it, we played it like three or four times over. Like, yeah. just kept playing it, you know, we're like, yeah, there's something about the song. Yeah. You know, it would have just uh, felt good, eh, bro? So, like, you know, you just go round and round for. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that um, that leads on to you guys put out a, a New Zealand tour and an Aussie tour that sold out in minutes um, before all this Corona stuff happened. Um, yeah, no, man, it's, <laughs> it's, hard, it's a tough time for Musos, eh? Yeah, yeah. So what, what's what's the sort of headspace for the boys at the moment? You guys just rolling with the punches and see what happens, or? Yeah, I, I think we'll be okay, man. It's. I think with having a set up at home and all the boys have got a set up as well. Yeah. Um, we're still able to create, yeah. um, you know, throw ideas backwards and forwards between each other. Yeah. The, we, yeah, I mean, we've lost our, our Aussie tour and, and stuff like that, but that'll get rescheduled as soon as we're allowed to. But, yeah, in regards to, like, with, with this lockdown stuff, we've actually been pretty productive in sending stuff to each other. We've been working on this project with a bunch of singers uh, that's going to be coming out in about a week's time. Nice. And that's been... That's actually been crack up, bro. We've, <laughs> we had to, um, the song, like, it was, like, real last minute, real kind of um, in the moment. I won't let out too much about it, but it's it's coming out. It's all about COVID-19 and stuff and just a positive tune. And, bro, I've, I've, had, the, um, I've had the chance to watch you a couple of times over summer. We've jammed a few times together. Um, bro, I yeah. absolutely, absolutely loved your set at, at One Love, bro. It just seemed like you were um, in another world, bro. But with the people at the same time, like riding with them, but you were somewhere else. That's what it seemed like anyway, bro. You were just smashing yeah. it. Yeah, that, that's crazy, man. Like that was, this last summer has been, you know, this, some of the biggest shows I've ever played in my life, you know. Um, and having that, the crowd like, you know, just with you is is what you dream of, you know. And that's, that what, um kind of headspace we were in before the gig was <laughs> was just crazy. We're, I've never seen Brad so nervous in my life. Like, he gets nervous. I get nervous. I warm up. I do my thing. I've got my yeah. ritual that I do. And I, I've been doing it rel- religiously for years. And I, I, I knew I had to do that at the hotel because there was too much noise. But yeah. backstage, no, it's like you're yeah. trying to get, get on stage, you know? Totally. Yeah, bro. I, I could tell, bro, that you guys were in the zone. It's funny you say that, actually, because you're right, bro. When you're trying to get in that headspace, when you get backstage... Um, there's so many people, you know, that want to catch up and say hello and how you've been, and and you don't want to be rude, but you're trying to be, you know. Yeah, and the green room turns into like the living room. Yeah. The yeah. Room. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, bro. But no, I thoroughly enjoyed that performance, bro. It was smashing, and I watched you guys in Whangarei again. Same thing again, bro. Smashing. Oh, it. thank you, bro. Yeah, Whangarei is a special one too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, bro. Um, the whole the whole point of this the show is um, just to basically lift the spirits, bro, of all the people at home in isolation. Um, nice. So yeah, bro, I appreciate your time, bro. And if you wouldn't mind um, chucking down a tune for us, yeah, I'll play some tunes. No worries, brother. Beautiful, brother. Thank you, bro. Yeah. All good. Bear in mind the things that he gave her 
up Caught inside a jail with the curfew And I know Beautiful, brother. Yeah, cheers, Thank you, bro. brother Joel. Bro, I really appreciate your time, bro. I know you're a super busy man, bro, um, and everything that's going on with LAB and spending time with your family. So thanks, bro, for joining me, having a yarn. And, um, bro, is there anything that you want to say to everybody out there in, in isolation? Yeah, just uh, just stay healthy and positive and, you know, get outside. I know that, you, you know, not meant to get outside too much, but, you know, that's such an important part of your sanity, I think, has is, is been out in the vitamin D and going for a beach walk if you're close to a beach or if you're on a farm even better just try and stay healthy mentally because I know it's a tough time for people's minds more than anything you know what I mean so yeah beautiful bro once again brother Joel um, thank you for your time bro give my love to all the other boys as well and um, we'll catch up again on the road soon bro and I'll let you have the last word or the final song sweet brother thanks man cheers brother sweet alright this one goes out to Bill Withers rest in peace brother Two, three, and... Well, my friends Feel as if I point at duty Use 
That's just how I'm gonna spread the news. That's what it feels is good to get news. You just keep on using me until you use me up. Sure am using you to do the thing you do. 